have a pop sugar unboxing to do and because a lot of you told me last month to go ahead and keep it at least for one more month because this is the one year anniversary and you guys thought that they were going to have a pretty good box so I listened to you and I decided to keep it at least for this month because I think you're probably right about it being pretty good because it's the anniversary box so I paid the full price for this and uh, I probably will end up canceling it though after this month because it's just a lot of money and I don't have that much money to spare, especially since I'm doing all of these subscription boxes. But I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got. Seems like a dinky box this month straight and it's very light. I don't know guys, straight into the box, still a little confused and I'm not looking straight at anything. I don't know why I like to be such a surprise, but I do. So the first thing is my tea leaf iced tea and ginger peach. A whole box of these. I don't, I mean I like tea sometimes, it really depends. I do like peach so we'll see. I'm probably gonna have to add sweetener to it because that's what I normally do and that's not good for you. Um, so they did give us this. The flavor seems good. It's King Cube Tray and it's an ice cube tray and it's silicone which I love that. Whoa these are huge ice cubes deep ones too. You only need like one ice cube in a drink. This is gonna be nice. Sam is going to love this. And then we got a food item. They always have at least one food item. And this is crunchy cookie chips. Dark chocolate chocolate chip. This looks good. Who's this by? Hannah Max Baking. Don't those look delicious? I'm gonna have to eat these before Sam does. Oh and then we got a super goop and it's the SPF 30 City Sunscreen Serum. And I'm thinking this is the one by Gwyneth Paltrow, possibly. I don't know, but I've heard of Supergoop. And Birchbox has put it in a lot of their boxes, and this is full size. And it has the Indie Beauty Award 2012 winner. Pretty good size. I'll have to use this when I play tennis. And it's supposed to be good for you too, like it doesn't have any parabens, um, fragrance or oxybenzone, which I haven't heard of that one, but it's a better sunscreen for your skin. I have been wanting to get this. It's been on Little Black Bag and I've tried to get it from them a few times and no one was trading it, so I'm really excited that I get a full size of it. And then another product that I've seen on Little Black Bag is NCLA and it is a nail polish. Let's see what color I got. This is really pretty. It's not like not very summery, kind of. It's a very muted purple. And I feel like if I would have seen this color at um, a store, I probably would have picked it up because it's very unique looking. And this is in the color As If. Ooh, what is this? I know the brand Bobble Bar, and it feels extremely heavy. I was actually just on their website last night uh, because they had a platinum buried Bobble Bar necklace, and it was so pretty. It was only $20, but I didn't end up buying it. I, was, I couldn't pull myself to spend the $20 on it. So let's see what's in it. It is really heavy, though. I wish you guys could feel this. Welcome to Bobble Bar. Enjoy 20% off your first order. I've already had a first order, so that's not going to work. Uh -huh. I don't know. Okay, so we got a chain necklace. Get it? I think this is rose gold, which I love rose gold. It definitely is. Um, it's heavy. It is really heavy. I'm not big into chain necklaces. So, let's see how it looks on. I don't know how I feel about it. It's pretty because it's rose gold, but I'm really not into chains. Are any of you like that too? I don't know why. I just, I, I could never get into them. Um, possibly with the right outfit though, this could look really cute. I think maybe because it's such a simple piece and this is a lot of detail maybe I'm not liking. Maybe if I were wearing something simple with a simple chain and it's not even I mean it's heavy you're not gonna want it's gonna be like a main focal point so you're not gonna want something um, with a lot of detail going on so maybe that will make it better I don't know we'll see um that was everything that I got uh interesting last month was better last month was so amazing it was my favorite ever so they blew me away this month it was 
worth the $35. I think it was like $37.99 after shipping. Um, I will go ahead and make sure that was right though and tell you how much I spent total on the box. But I think it was worth it. Value wise, I think, although I know you guys already noticed because I'm already showing it, I'm sure. Um, I feel like it's going to be around $100 exactly, which is what they are supposed to be at. At least $100 worth of products. So that's my guesstimate. Let's say $102.50. Random. But that's my guess. And yeah. So let me know if you got anything different uh, bobble bar wise because I would love to hear what you guys got. I don't know if everyone got this rose gold chain necklace or not. Who knows. I love bobble bar though. And this is actually extremely good quality. So it was... It was good, and I think my favorite item, I know it's dumb, but I think it's going to be this nail polish. It's really pretty. That is all I have to show you guys today. And be on the lookout for a ton more subscription unboxings because it's the beginning of the month, and it's just bam, bam, bam subscriptions. So I will see you guys soon in another video. Bye.